So an athlete, they review game tape and yeah. they do mindset work and they've got a sports psychologist yeah. and they look at what they eat and they look at what they drink and they go to bed on time and they're hanging around with people that are growth minded and they're getting the right coaches and they're yeah. all the rest. Everything is done in order to facilitate performance in the thing that they say they care about. Mm-hmm. But everybody has the opportunity to do that. There's a, a photo that I put up on my Instagram a little while ago, uh, two weeks after I ruptured my Achilles and I'm in a boot and I've got the laptop yeah. on my lap and we've created this arm that'll bring the mic to me because I didn't want to stop doing the podcast because I'd made this commitment. I'm going to turn pro. And for three years, we haven't missed a single episode three times a week, three times a week, three times a week for three years now. Yeah. And before that, it was two a week for a year. And before that, it was one a week for a year. Yeah, yeah. And it just keeps on ramping up. And the opportunity to commit yourself fully to something that you care about is beyond a blessing. And we said before we started, you got this big thing coming up, which I'm super proud of you for managing to achieve, even though it hasn't happened yet. Um, the difference between being nervous and being excited before you do something is your level of preparation in advance of it. If you step out on stage or in front of half a million people on a webinar, which is the craziest sentence I've ever said, if you step out on stage in front of half a million people and you've done absolutely everything, there's nothing to fear. And that's why it's not about what everyone else will think because when I'm on stage making that presentation, the only person whose voice I'll hear is mine. And I will know if I have done everything in my control to be prepared or not. 